You may assume that young people who move to Detroit live in apartments downtown or midtown, but there's an increased number of millennials deciding to buy into Detroit by taking on the responsibility of fixing up a historic home. Patty Lynch works in the suburbs, but moved to Detroit in 2011. As far as actually purchasing a home and deciding to restore it, um, I was raised in an old house and I kind of grew up with the clinking radiators and all the various projects that have to be undertaken uh, when, you own, when you own something this old. And um, I just was drawn to the idea of being able to take a place that needed work and give it some love and bring it back to life a little bit. This gorgeous home once belonged to the Kresge family and Patty is only the fourth owner in a hundred years. Uh, I have many favorite features to this home because when I first walked in the door, I fell in love with it immediately. One of the things I appreciate is that every single room is unique. Every room that you walk into, there is no other room like it in the city. And that goes for most of these historical homes because these architects a hundred years ago were true artists and they were trying to create something that hadn't been done before. And they took that work and vocation very seriously. One of the perks of having such a large home is inviting people into it. Patty allows for his home to be used as a venue to many charity events. His favorite and most recent charity function was for the Crystal Ray High School, which is a nonprofit college prep school in Detroit. That was also based uh, in a big way on the life and work of Dorothy Day, who's a woman that not many people may know about, but she created the Catholic Worker Movement, and she really believed that any Catholic home should be ready and willing to accept visitors and guests at all times. So people know, friends and friends of friends, that if they're in town or they need a place to stay, that we can usually accommodate them. And that's why we host a variety of charity events and fundraisers because we believe that this is the type of place you have to share with the wider community. You're watching a production of Comcast CN900, your home for local sports, news and entertainment.